this is going to be a really quick page now I'm going to just mat it with a 3 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths in the paper so let's pop glue on as I said this really is a nice simple album I'm not you know it's a quick album just center that pop that down and then I'm going to use a flower that I got of course I've got this die cut pack uh, and this is a little flower from that which is really nice and I'm going to put that in there but you could punch something out a heart or a flower and pop it in the corner I'm going to put just a couple of 3D squares on the bottom because I want oh, oh I peeled peel the top off rather than pick the square up I'm just going to put three on the bottom because I want it to stand up just a little bit but I want it to be oh I'll put a couple up, up one side as well because I want this to act like a little tuck under so she can pop something I've got this little journaling spot that I can just stick under there she can use that in there and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to punch a couple of leaves from some spare pa pattern paper that I've got left. I'm going to just, this is a Martha Stewart, I'm doing it backwards. Three, oops, put that in there. This is the Martha Stewart leaf punch. I'm going to use those underneath there just to give a little bit of contrast. I might even do them the other way up actually. Because I quite like that orange with the little design on. Let's, um, let's put one that way and that one that way. together, glue them together, put some like that, put some glue on the back and pop those underneath there. That's there like that. And I could make some little wire spirals. And what I do, I buy these from um, these roses from Wild Orchid Crafts and I take, I usually use them for cards, so I take that wire off them and what I do, I always use my little wire cutters because it does blunt your scissors, the wire but if you've got an old scissors, use that what I normally use is just this my embossing tool and I just go round like that, hold it with my thumb at the bottom and twine it round and then just pull it off and you're left with a little curl so I'll do a couple of those so we'll put a nice big blob of glue on there Just to give it a good shake there's not a great deal in there and I'm going to pop that under there Hold it down for a minute or two. It's always best to put an odd number. That's what they do in art and design. Put always a three or a five. Actually, there you go. So that's the flowers with that in. So that's another quick page. Right. And the next page we're going to do here. I've got two chipboard flowers. You can punch those out. So any two flowers that are two stepped sizes, and we can pop that on there. I'm going to just glue that and pop that one in between. And then I'm going to use. 
a button in there and I'm going to pop a little bit of twine through so I just cut a small piece if you can use embroidery thread or the baker's twine or anything else you want to use I don't even know where I got this don't think it's embroidery thread it's a little bit thinner than that but so then you want to just I've left it a bit short actually um, just I usually knot them twice there you go and then trim it off and then we'll put a blue dot pop that on there that's a little decoration for that piece of scrap that you've got left over it can be any piece of scrap this is so if we say about three inches by three inches and what you want to do is just make this isn't going to be terribly accurate measurement wise but if you do it about three inches by three inches across that way three inches across that way and then cut it across we can make a slanted it in that one we'll go this way this time I only want to make little pockets and things that she can put things in because we're going to make some photo mats on the other side and then what we can do is just pop that flower on there we can again because I did want to just make this a very very quick not too much thought just and then this one we can just pop on there like so what you can do to make some photo corners is punch a square just judging it where I want it and oh punch actually that's not as wide as the other one so I'm going to do it, it again okay let's do another one so I can just even take a little bit out there as long as I've got enough of the corner just take that out like that and then slide my punch back in and just judge that it's about the same as the other one and just punch and that will fly out somewhere where you don't want it to and again you can just cut across there like that now and pop that one in there a mess with the glue oh that's that one so let's do the third one I want to use that little piece well sorry I'm going to do that again and again just punch that and then cut across an angle and then put that in there and just decorate that a little bit I'm making an awful mess today with my glue I really am there you go so that's the, another page done right that's given us five pages so I'll just get one of the pages that we've just done and I'm going to show you what I've done on the back of what I'm going, going to do I should say on the back of each one I've got um, a strip of the paper pattern paper and the measurements are three I've already cut this one out obviously 
3 and 7 eighths by 7 and 7 eighths and you need to score at 3 and 9 eighths and then fold it making a little booklet that's going to be a mat on there but what we need to do is we need an eyelet in here to bind it with the ring so we don't want to close that because this is going to open up to give us three different photo mats here and you could actually if you wanted to make a pocket as well and then you could make a pocket and do some tags in there actually we might do that so what we'll need to do on this one because we wouldn't be able to open it we need to fold that one back so open that out and on your right hand side here just make a mark a one and a quarter just a tiny mark so you can see it one and a quarter on the top and running down the side I'm going to make it one and a half so it's a little bit of an angle and I'm going to fold well actually you want to score it I'd score it first this is an old latte tool that uh, I use for scoring still but it's really useful I don't score that bend that back and then what we can do you can either you could put a brad in there if you wanted to what I'm going to do is just stick it down really coming to the end of my glue now I'm going to stick that down and then I'm just going to pop one of those rhinestones because we've taken that through the album just in there and that will give it just that little bit of decoration and then we're going to stick that on the back of our page make sure it's the right way up so you're going to want it in the right hand corner so that's going to be it that way up that's going to be in your right hand corner and we're going to stick that on and then to stick the whole of this one on that nice bit of glue on the edge centre that up open that out and that down so that's giving you you can put something on there and it's giving you a photo mat there and a photo mat there so if we do another page but we make it into a pocket so, so I've got the same thing I've made the score and folded that back get another page one of our other pages and that's dry now with the perfect pearls on and we can pop that make sure it's the right way up and instead of gluing it all over if we just glue the three sides so the opening side and the top and the bottom and that will give us a pocket as well let's stick that on let's glue that flat down pop our round stone on top for the decoration and I think I've just taken the sticky back off it <laughs> put that down and then that will give us a pocket in there which we can make a little tag for and pop that in there and that can stick out the side so you could do them all like that with a little pocket if you want to and make yourself a tag to go in or stick them right down and just have your photo mats, it's up to you.